A lot of times when we're working on websites, we want to be able to refresh, but we also want to be able to clear the cache at the same time if we need to. That way, it's not using what we have locally. It's actually going to download the files again, okay? There's kind of a newer way in Chrome. This is Chrome-specific, but if you have the latest version of Chrome, I think it's 41, something like that, 42. If you go to Chrome and you go to the Developer Tools, and a lot of us know how to get to the Developer Tools, but if you go here and you open them up, you're going to see I've got mine kind of set up a little differently here. Let me turn some of this off and move things around a bit. This is how it normally looks when you start. What we can do now is if we come up here to the Refresh, Instead of just clicking to reload, you can click hold down for a second and you'll see we now have normal reload, hard reload, empty cache, and hard reload. Normal reload is going to reload it and try and use the cached content if, it, if it's there. Okay, That means the stuff that you've already downloaded, for instance, images, JavaScript, etc. Hard reload is going to re-download everything it can think of, everything it can find that matter. An empty cache is going to completely empty the cache and then download everything again. Now, what's the difference between hard reload and empty cache and hard reload? Well, hard reload, well, sometimes the page will have JavaScript files or something after the fact that are running, and it'll still use those cached versions. It's just when it downloads the site initially or the page initially, whereas empty cache will completely do it. So it'll completely empty the cache and start it again. And that way we can do things like check how fast the load is, et cetera, at a timeline and things like that. So pretty cool. You got to have the developer tools open. Otherwise, with them closed, if you go up and try and do that, it's not going to do it.